very wise frog once said, it's not easy being green. But believe me, he didn't know the half of it. In the past 48 hours, my brothers and I have been attacked by killer robots, had our home caved in on us, and had a serious butt-kicking ninja battle with some deadly ninja assassins. We made a shell-raising escape in an armored car, found a new place to live. This is beyond awesome. And we're attacked by even more killer robots. Oh, and we also managed to perform our very first ninja rescue. This is the closest any of us have ever been to a human being. How you doing? And it raises one very big question. Can we keep her? Fighting robots? Did I fall asleep watching TV again? That was the weirdest thing I've ever seen! Hi! <coughs> Please don't do that! I almost jumped out of my shell! It has three fingers! I'm asleep, I'm asleep. Sleep. I'm asleep. This I'm isn't asleep. going I'm very asleep. well. Asleep. Hey, I'm come asleep. on! We don't have much I'm practice asleep. talking to humans. I'm it's gonna asleep. take I'm a little asleep. time. I'm asleep. I'm asleep. I'm so asleep. I'm asleep. I'm asleep. I'm asleep. I'm asleep. Oh man, she's making me sleepy. Hey, you. What? What do you know about those mouse or robot things? Well, first I thought they were for cleaning up the city's rat problem. But then I got suspicious when Dr. Stockman said, Oh no, I'm talking to it. What? I'm talking to it. To you! Okay, April. You are talking to a giant, three-fingered turtle. The only logical explanation is that you're dreaming. So everything's okay. Hello. Hello, April. How are you doing? Oh, I'm fine. Everything's absolutely great. <laughs> oh! Then perhaps you are ready to answer some questions. You're... you're a... <sighs> you sure have a way with the ladies, Master Splinter. Now what do we do? Let's nudge her. I'll snap her out of it. Raphael, no! Oh, somebody get me when she wakes up. measures are pitiful. An insult. Nothing can stand in the way of my consummate genius. This way, 
Hey, please! Something's happening in the vault! Hey! Hey, you're at the Mikey! Ow! What? She woke up. Leah made us some tea and she's ready to consider we might be real. Awesomely radical, dude! Huh, you keep talking like that, she's gonna pass out again. Hey! So, you okay now? Yes, thanks. I've decided this is either a very long dream that I keep not waking up from, or it's the weirdest thing that ever happened to me. Young woman, we have something most important to discuss. What? We have never revealed ourselves to the upper world. You have placed us all in great danger. But Master Splinter, she was in trouble and we helped her. Yeah, aren't you always teaching us to try to do the right thing? As you grow older, you will learn there are many ways to do the right thing. But there is no going back. I'm afraid we find ourselves at your mercy. Oh, I would never tell anybody. I mean, who would believe me? She's got a point. <laughs> yeah, we're unbelievable! Jeez, where's your off switch? Seriously, I promise. I believe you. Is this another lesson, Master Splinter? How to sense the truth? No. This is called trusting your gut. So, if I'm keeping your secret, what exactly is it? Who are you people? Uh, turtles? Uh, whatever. I have memories. Memories of when I used to be what you might call normal. I remember a day that started like any other but ended changing the course of many lives. I witnessed an accident. A young boy carried a glass jar with four pet infant turtles. An old blind man was crossing the street when he was almost run down by a large truck. The truck swerved. A metal canister bounced out of the back. It smashed open, releasing a glowing ooze which covered their bodies. I took pity, gathering them up in a coffee can. I took them to my burrow. The next morning, I awoke to find the four had doubled in size. The ooze had affected their growth. It changed me also, making me larger and more intelligent. They followed me everywhere, except above ground. I knew the people of the surface would not understand. We are so... different. I was amazed by their dexterity. But even so, I was not prepared for what happened one day. Splinter? They actually spoke my name. Soon they all were speaking. Awesome! Mine! <laughs> hey. Pizza, dude! Cowabunga! <laughs> Intelligence followed soon after. Realizing that the world above is sometimes a dangerous place, I began teaching them ninjutsu, the secret arts of stealth and power, and all that I knew of this world. From a battered book on Renaissance art that I fished out of the storm drain, I chose names for each of them. Leonardo, Donatello, Raphael, 
Michelangelo. Together, they are... Turtles Forever! Or something like that that we all yell at once. First rule, ignore Mike. Your life will be much easier. So we have remained in secret, and that is our story. But how did you know martial arts? That is a story for another time. Hey, guys! Look at this! And the police are completely baffled by this daring bank robbery boldly executed in broad daylight. If anyone has any information, the police urge you to call the Crime Stoppers hotline. So, anybody want to take a wild guess what did this? This must be what I heard Dr. Stockman talking about. He's got the Mousers robbing banks. What do you know about this Stockman guy? He's a genius. He's also nuts. I used to work for him, but when I got suspicious, he turned the Mousers on me. Luckily, I ran into you guys. He destroyed our old lair. Must have been one of his Mouser test runs. But that was our home. Now he's graduated to banks. Then what are we waiting for? I say we shut down Mouser Central permanently. <laughs> I just love those action movie lines. You write those yourself. It won't be easy. Stocktronics is rigged with the latest up-to-the-minute security tech. <laughs> Bring it on! Allow me to introduce our very own secret weapon. The Techno Turtle himself, Donatello! Take a bow, Don! <laughs> I'll cut it out. Can we go, please? <laughs> Excellent! Excellent! The world, as they say, is my oyster. And aren't the pearls lovely? Uh, what? Dr. Stuckman? Make it quick. I'm very busy. I am contacting you to verify that you are fulfilling your end of our bargain and that you are on schedule. I will not stand for any more of this idiotic interrogation. I've advanced the Mousers to the next stage and they are securing the funds from the banks as you requested. Can you grasp that simple concept? Do not presume too much, Dr. Stockman. The price for failure will be quite extreme. Imbecile. Arms in the sewers? Is this guy paranoid or what? Will you shut it? I'm just saying. Could April and I have some quiet? This is delicate work. Ooh, April and I. This is delicate work. Give me a break. Is this the place? There's a computer terminal in that lab. Get me in, and I can create blank spots in the security system to get you through to Dr. Stockman's main lab. Don't look now, we already got a blank spot right here. Hey! I'm in. I'm blanking the cameras along that corridor at 10 second intervals, so you've got to keep moving. We'll be right back. Good luck. Hey, these guys are good. This is too quiet. Uh, guys? My turtle sense is tingling. Intruders? Here to steal my secrets? You leave here with nothing. Not even your lives. What on earth are you? Hmm. I suppose I'll have to dissect you to find out.
killing shot! Your reign of terror is over, Stockman. You've been practicing that? You like it? What are you? There with me. April, you're alive. And kicking. I've got enough evidence to put you away for years, Dr. Stockman. That's enough. Ha! Too late. I recall the Mouser Horde from their latest mission. They'll be here any second. They'll tear you to pieces. April? I'll have to shut the whole system down. I'll help. You're doomed. Listen. April. Now's the time. Uh, the system isn't responding. You should never have matched wits with me. He's getting away. Let him go. We got bigger problems. At least we'll go out fighting. Actually, I don't want to go out at all! It's not working! Keep trying! This is it! It's been fun, guys! Even me, Raf? Even you, Mikey. Especially you. I've never seen anything like that. <laughs> Losing! Uh, guys, guys, I wasn't able to shut them down. They look pretty shut down to me. The only way I could stop them was by initiating an overload sequence. In other words, let's get out of here! Hun. Trouble, Dr. Stockman? Trouble? No, no. Everything is proceeding exactly as I planned. Perhaps you'd like to explain this plan to the master. No, you don't. Let me go, you brainless, muscle-bound idiot. Let me go. Let me go. And the authorities are completely perplexed by the destruction of the Stocktronic building and the sudden disappearance of Dr. Baxter Stockman. What will you do now, Miss O'Neill? You are most definitely out of a job. I'm not exactly sure. We'll help you get back on your feet. You guys, you've all been, well, great. And by guys, I guess I mean four big green talking turtles and a giant talking rat. Here's to the new team! Yeah! 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 So, as any fool can see, the whole thing was simply a uh, minor setback. With your continued funding, the research can continue immediately. I'll be back at work, go oh, Monday morning. You must pay the price for failure, Dr. Stockman. No! Where are you taking me? You'll regret this! No! We have the image you requested, Master. So, the last remaining image the Mouser Optics recorded. Responsible. 